everybody hope everybody's having a good day I am just getting up I have been so lazy you guys I feel like just the last I don't know like week or two I just been so exhausted I've been trying to just keep up with everything and you know I have all my photography and then work and everything so I just been so busy and then also with the baby and stuff like that so and then Oscarito's about to start school and then this week he's with his dad so I try to get all that stuff done so cuz next week he's already starting school oh my god no in two weeks it's like a week and a half so um, yeah we'll go from there and then right now I just have to get up get everything going and get started on my day because if I don't you guys know every day is just a normal routine um, some things change sometimes but I have like the same routine in the morning that I always do um, you know of course feeding the baby and getting all the blinds open and you know the whole little thing that you're going to see right now <laughs> I want to fix the bed because I feel like in the morning when you get your bed fixed it's like the day just feels like everything is going better it feels like more like open it's clean and it just makes me feel like I have more energy to get my day done um, so I like to fix the bed in the morning because it just makes me feel like clear-minded it makes me feel good it's just I highly recommend it because it also just makes like you know like the checklist of not all the stuff that has to be done has to be on you because it's already done so it's just better to do it like when you wake up and you're ready to get the day going so that's what I do all the time just because it's easier and it makes me feel better I do definitely like to get the bed done and then I also my it sleeps like in this little area right here so I just kind of like get the blanket out and put it to the side but yeah this is where he sleeps and then I know we were going to say something about all the pink pillows, but yes, I know we are actually going to be switching that here very soon um, just because I want to switch it up. But I do like the still the white comforter, so we're probably going to be going like with more beige, um, gray, and then the white. So I'm excited for that to switch that up. And then I basically just put ah! Nemo on for a second. Keep a shoe! Dun da dun da da! Hey, you been cheap, Lee! Where's your mother, Jiggito? Gonna make some boiled eggs. out because I'm going to try to not eat any um, yolks because I hear that they're high in cholesterol and that's something that I need to work on. This is the next thing is I have to fill my water bottle. Um, so it gives me like the times 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6 and it's just trying to drink that per day so that I can stay hydrated. One thing, another thing is I have to have my coffee. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing right now. And look, oh my God, no judgment. I have to get all these dishes done yesterday. I literally did it right before, so I didn't have so much. And then I did cook, and then oh, I have all these. And I was like, I am not doing dishes again. So I have to do those today as well. <laughs> To run back upstairs because I need to get started on the laundry. I already did um, put the clothes in there. I'm put this right here. Um, there's that, and then.
<laughs> I love this coffee. White mocha, white mocha cho or white chocolate mochas are my favorite. So that's what I make here at home, and it's so worth it because I don't have to go to Starbucks anymore. Now I have to get some things done, and it's going to be very boring watching me try to get this done. But I have some things to get done for the rest of the day, and then so I'm going to get working on that right now. And then um, try to drink my water throughout the day and get my coffee. And then, of course, when the baby has to take a nap, and then I have to feed him. I'm just waiting for the eggs to boil right now. Eggs are already ready, so what I did is I just smushed them up like this, kind of like um, scrambled eggs, and then so he could eat them. Um, we Some days we do just um, the white, and then there's some days we just put the yolk in there as well, because I don't want him to have too much of it, you know? Um, but today we just left him in there, so that's what he's eating right now. Ha, ba, ba. I love me Ray. I love the way he eats. Look at it. It's so cute. His little fingers. His little fingers on his mouth, huh? Mmm. Can you see him? 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 And so I've been trying to also give him like stuff like carrots and hard stuff so he can bite on so it doesn't hurt his teeth as much. I'm trying to get him changed. No! Later. on. Mira, mira, is I gotta go put the baby to sleep gotta go put the baby to sleep huh this little crazy one you wanna go take a nap you wanna go take a nap <laughs> oh he's heavy Ugh. so we're gonna go do that now now we're putting him to take a nap up up bye and then I have a little camera up so I'll be able to watch him downstairs and yeah so it's nap time. Nap time for this little one. This is what I mean that I can see him from upstairs as I have the little camera so I just watch him what he's doing. And he has been literally standing up so I have to be careful with that. <laughs> the dog's in right now. There's Mia and then here's King right here. That's because it's freaking hot outside. So I have to bring them in in the morning. My husband will take them out. And then I totally spaced it out and I'm like, crap, it's hot outside. So I had to run outside and I had to grab the dogs. So they're just laying on the floor right now. What I'm doing now is I just did all the dishes <laughs> and then I put them in here. So I literally do it twice. Everybody always gives me crap, but I wash them and then I put them in here and I turn it on. I feel like it's a double clean. So that's what we got to do right now. have leftover enchiladas so that's what I'm gonna eat right now because I'm starving like it's oh, I'm so tired mm. it's so hot but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and eat and then I gotta start preparing um for Ismael's um food when he wakes up so I'm probably just gonna give him some fruits and stuff so I just have to wash them and get all that ready for him so that I could have that ready so he can eat and feel good so now the little baby wake it up. Huh? And we had to change his diaper because he has pooped. Say hi, Papa. The lollies. Lollies. Mira. Papa. Is that daddy with you? Huh? Food ready and everything else. So we'll prepare that right now. But I'm going to set him in his um, little chair. He's happy. Yeah. Yeah. He's so happy. You ready for food time? Food time! Yay! <laughs> I 
The next thing is I did buy these little things. They're like so that he can. They're like the pouches thingies. Um, so I was giving him this, but the problem that we were doing is that I, when I was feeding him, he was literally taking it out of my hand and wanting to feed himself. So I'm like, no, I have to give him something that he can feed himself. But I seen this little thing. They have like the little thing that you can pour it into here but I feel like it makes a mess so I there, I read it um somebody recommended this where you just pour it inside of a one of these little bags and then pour it in there and it doesn't make as much of a mess which I'll show you guys and it actually doesn't it actually works pretty well so then I'll do it on the opposite side that it's not right there so I don't make a mess and then you just cut the end off like that and then all you do is grab this and then you guys can see like it just goes right into there so it just goes right in there and then I squeeze like down and then yeah. so now he has like his little and I'm gonna try to get as much as I can out so you just kind of work with it like that but it's so much cleaner and it doesn't make some a, that much of a mess and then all I do is put this on top and then I give it to him so that he can take it but it's pretty cool because you can rewash these and then just clean them i recommend that if you're just again if they're done to just clean it right away um so that it doesn't stain or anything and it doesn't get stinky or anything like that just clean it right away so you don't have any issues as you can see let's go eat this way as you can see he just eats it mm. eat that banana eat that banana mm, que rico but then he's also teething so he likes to put those little things in his mouth and bite on it so then I have to keep on watching him because he likes to bite on the bottom right here and then I'm like no you can't do that and then he just spills it everywhere <laughs> you guys can see look at him <gasps> mm, see you see what I'm seeing there no 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 mira ahí está ves Mmm, qué rico. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this fruit. So I do use this. If you don't use it, it basically is a cleaner for the fruits and veggies so that it gets all of the nasty stuff off of it. And they are so worth it if you are not using it because there is so much nasty stuff that's on them. I think from when they just put them on there. So then I'll put that there. I'll just put three fresas in there. But and then all of the stuff just falls off and then at that point i will take them out of there and then i'll dry them cut them up and then put them there for him to eat because he likes to also grab everything oh my goodness you're making a mess huh you're making a mess look at it it's okay it's just a little spot mm, blueberries and then he'll just put them in his mouth in the one thing that I did notice about Ismael is that a lot of people are like, oh, they work for, like, they worry about the choking hazards and stuff like that. But with him, he actually does pretty well. So when he has it in his mouth and he knows that he can't swallow it, he spits it right out. Like, I've never seen anybody do that, but he is one who does, does, does it. Uh, does, just, does it. Oh, I can't even, ni puedo hablar. Mmm. Se está recording mi mami, ha. Está recording mi. Mm. <laughs> I definitely um, missed some things. I already got the clothes from the dryer, or the washer, put them in the dryer. And I had to get my el ready, so I already have him. He's already all ready. Look at him. Papa. Papito. Ven, siéntate. Mira. Show me a little outfit. Look at Look at his little outfit. His little Jays, look at them. Look at how cute his little Jordans are. They're so small. And he's so chunky. Ah, toma. Papa. He's going all over the place. Look at him. <laughs> and so right now we're going to get ready. No, Papa. No. Don't <laughs> So right now we're going to get ready and we're going to go to Texas Roadhouse because my husband wants us to meet him there. So that's where we're going to go. And you're nice and fresh. How nice and fresh. You're doing nice and fresh and baby. So I, he got those shoes and then I did get me some new shoes too and then Oscar has some too but these are mine. And the little Jay's over here. There you go.
He's all happy. <laughs> and then Oscarito, um, I know people are probably going to ask, us, where's Oscar? He is with his dad this week, so he'll be here with us on Friday. Watch, he's going to move up. Watch. Go, let's go. <laughs> this is the way he crawls around, look. <laughs> this is the way he crawls. Look at him. <laughs> and then he's going to probably head over there to the little thing. He likes to... Look at him. <laughs> Get it, baby! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> you silly goose! No! <laughs> Here's the new shoe, look! Hey! I'm just kidding. But yes, there's that, and then just all day. That's what we do. <laughs> I'm downstairs and I have to put Oscarito, I mean Oscarito, Moyelito right here so that he can play for a little bit so I can get his stuff ready and we can head out. So we switched it up. We're actually going to Applebee's. My husband's like, oh, just make steak at the house. I'm like, no, I need to get out of the house. We need, I need to get out of the house. So yeah, that's what we're going to go do now is go to Applebee's and I'll meet him there. And then um, because the steakhouse was opening a little bit later and then we had to wait for the food. And just the whole thing, he's like, it would have been averaging out too if I made it at the house. And I'm like, no, I need to get out. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing now. And yeah, so we can go with along with us. 100,000 times, we switched it again now to Camarón Loco. My husband so decisive, we can't decide what, what kind of food he wants. I'm like, I don't care what we eat, I just want anything. I just want to get out of the house a little bit. But yeah, so that's what we're going to go eat now. Oh my God. So yeah, I don't know. Camarón Loco is really good. I'm just looking at my elito. He's on the back chin, playing with his shoes. <laughs> I'm so happy. What are you doing, Papa? Okay. <laughs> okay everybody so now you can tell it is the night time um i did get home we did do some stuff i did um we went to eat came back home watched a movie um took the dogs for a walk and then put the baby to sleep and you know all that good stuff they have to do when you get home and I totally spaced out to record during that time period just because it was a little busy. Um, but now I have to edit for photography because I do have upcoming ones that are due and that I need to get sent out. And then I need to get those ASAP because I'm also super busy with photography. So if you are also here in the Denver area and you're looking for family portraits, maternity photos, kid photos, children, anything like that, newborn, hit me up um, and I can definitely get that scheduled for you guys. The month of August is pretty filled. I think I have one more spot and then now I'm scheduling for September. Um, but I'm super excited for that. And then I also wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be working on my Forever Amigas podcast. So if you're not, make sure to head to that channel and it's Forever Amigas podcast. And you guys will see like it has like the little logo on there. And I'm going to be proposing about that. I'm super excited because it's going to be more of like me giving you advice and just like getting to know you guys and, you know, give you advice like if I would give to my friends. And it's like a just a, a place that you can create to where you can be able to be yourself. And that's what I want to create it to be. So I'm super excited to get started on that. Um, but if you're not already, um, subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And if you want more of these, as well, give it a thumbs up. So you guys have a great night.